Enzo Maresca will be new Chelsea manager. We are the light, like Enzo Maresca has done, all organization has done with the EDS. He show he will become an extraordinary manager in the future. Extraordinary. I feel it. Like I felt it when I saw Mikel Arteta as the same with Enzo. Will be an extraordinary manager. And uh, he helped to develop many, many young players. Like I'm pretty sure next season is going to to help us. No, I said, even first half, I was very happy. I was very happy about the first half because the team was playing very well. Thank you, I all the way, David. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Thank you. Yeah. Cole Palmer, who you know very well, of course. By far the best manager I've worked for. He's he's incredible. I think um, I think everybody will say, you know, he's he's going right to the top in the managerial with his stature, experience. Everything. He's got he's got everything. He's um, yeah, great man manager. He's tactically incredible. You know, some of the decisions that he tells us to do before the game and how we how we view the view the match is something I've never experienced before in football. So um, yeah, it's opened my eyes a lot to football and the way it's played and, and that kind of. Um, that kind of Pep Guardiola style as well, which is I know he worked with very, very uh, for a long time. So it's um, yeah, it's, I'm loving my football. It works perfectly for me. It's exactly the kind of football that I want to play and and I buy into and and um, and yeah, I think since since he's come in, I've learned so much and, and continue to to do that. And because they are both very very important players, not only uh, in terms of quality inside the pitch, but also we are looking for players that. They can be uh, example for the for the young players and for the rest of the teammates. So Connor is one of the that guy. He is an unbelievable player, and hopefully he can stay with us. And this is the most important thing. And the idea is to bring in more players with uh, quality, not only inside the pitch, as I said, and but also. They, they can help us to build, as I said before, something important. I just try to learn every day, there and here. You want to know if we are going to play in the same way, yeah? <laughs> no, anyway, it's, uh, uh, we are, the idea, it's, it's that idea, it's a process. So the idea is to try to play in one way, the way we want, but that uh, required time, hopefully, we can achieve as soon as possible. Oh, <laughs> because I love, I love to be manager, and because I spent almost uh, the last uh, seven, six, seven years uh, being coach, manager every day. No, I always said the same. I've been quite lucky because I work with uh, yeah, Ander Ancelotti, Lippi, uh, Manuel Pellegrini. Uh, so I've been quite lucky and I, I just try to learn things from all of them. No, first of all, the ambitions was very high when I met them the first time. So after last season, nobody's happy. So this is normal, but I really like the ambitions they have. And this was one of the reasons why I decide also to, to accept. It's almost championship season. Yeah, now anyway, the, the pre-season in the last 10, 20 years probably changed completely. You move a lot. Uh, before it was completely different. So you need to adapt. This is uh, football today. You always have pre-season abroad. So in our case, we have to, to adapt in that and be ready for the first game at home. <sighs> But, uh, I said, uh, I know that uh, we all want to hear that the target is there, but to be honest, I'm not, uh, uh, I don't know if the right word is stress. I'm completely relaxed because for me now, the most important thing is the day by day to build a good squad. And then from there, we'll see what's happened. But now uh, for me, to see what's happening in June or May is too far.
Guys, let me start with the news of the day. Enzo Maresca and Chelsea. We already mentioned that during the day. Enzo Maresca has always been one of the favorite candidates at Chelsea. And what we can say tonight is that Chelsea, Enzo Maresca, new manager, will happen. So unless something completely crazy uh, is going to happen in the next 24, 48 hours, Enzo Maresca will be new Chelsea manager. The here we go is coming soon because the contacts today between Enzo Maresca and Chelsea were absolutely super positive. Maresca wants to go to Chelsea. Maresca has never had any doubts. Uh, I saw some reports today saying that maybe he wanted to stay at Leicester. Enzo Maresca loves Leicester and respects Leicester, but the message from Enzo Maresca has always been very clear since, enter, uh, since uh, Chelsea entered the story. Enzo Maresca wants to be new Chelsea manager. Enzo Maresca believes that this project with young players, uh, with big future ahead, can be really exciting. And also important to say, Enzo Maresca uh, believes that Chelsea idea, not just for the present, but also for the future, the plans they have for the long-term project is something really exciting. So Maresca wants to go to Chelsea. The salary is already agreed, is not an issue, but Enzo Maresca will be new Chelsea manager. Everything is uh, really ready. And let me say that this candidate is approved by everyone at the club. So it's about the directors bringing his name on the table as a very good candidate. Young manager, as I told you last week, when we already uh, started saying about the possibility of replacing Pochettino, you know, the message was clear. Young manager with modern idea, dynamic football, and now they have it because Enzo Maresca is young, Enzo Maresca has knowledge of Premier League football, this is why um, knowledge of English football in the Championship, but also Premier League uh, as assistant coach of Pep Guardiola, not as a head coach, but he knows English football and also he has this idea of possession, dynamic football, uh, attacking football, trusting young players, so many factors making the difference for Chelsea to go for him. So approved by the directors, but also by the owners. Chelsea owners were really convinced on Enzo Maresca after the contacts they had over the weekend. And so he's going to be the new manager. What's missing is just the agreement between Chelsea and Leicester, the final compensation fee, because there is a close 10 millions, but also the staff of Enzo Maresca is part of the conversation now. So who is joining Maresca, how much Chelsea will pay for the entire package. This is the discussion, but it's just a matter of days, probably hours, and then everything will be fixed and then so Maresca will become new Chelsea manager. So the here we go is coming and it's an important one for Chelsea because the contract is being agreed, everything will be fine with Enzo Maresca and also with Leicester. And mark my words, it will be a busy summer at Chelsea. Eh? Chelsea will try to make smart things, not completely crazy, but smart things, including, for example, a goalkeeper. I expect Chelsea to go for a goalkeeper. They will be busy with defenders. At least one centre-back could be two. I expect Chelsea to be busy, of course, with a striker position. I mentioned many times Benjamin Cesco. Let's see what Chelsea will do in that race with Leipzig still trying to keep the player and other clubs interested, including Arsenal and United, Vasesco is still highly rated at Chelsea, could be also a winger, so it will be a busy, busy summer at Chelsea and now with a new manager involved. Yes, uh, all start, I think, uh, 15 years ago, more or less, I was still a player and I faced Pep team when Pep was at Barcelona. And with Sevilla? Or? With Sevilla and then with Malaga too. And facing them, I realized that uh, something different happened in the pitch. So I fell in love immediately with that idea since that time that I was uh, 27, 28, more or less. I fell in love with that idea. So I start to analyze game and to try to understand that team. And then uh, Pep brings his idea in different country, Germany, now England. So, but all start from that time when I was uh, still a football player and I faced Barcelona and I realized that it uh, was not the same thing happened against a different team. It was completely different. Uh, the problem is that uh, with this idea, you need the club support you every time. And probably they, 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 they support the idea until I don't know, until after some games, and then they, they stop to support. But with this idea, you need the uh, people that uh, believe in this idea and support you, because it's not uh, something that uh, they, the day after you have, you got it already. You need, uh, you need day by day improving. I always said the same. They ask me about uh, June, May, target. I always said, for me, the target is uh, 
tomorrow session because I want to see the players how they improve. They they were they were helped, but uh, just can say thank you so much for all the academy for Jason Wilcox and uh, of course Enzo Maresca last season made an incredible job with these players, incredible job. I know it because we were together training many many times and I saw them and the way they play, the way they they develop their their understanding the game. Of course, with Brian right now and, and Carlos, uh, all of them make an incredible, incredible job. Because I was told that his knowledge of the Chelsea squad, and I'm not just talking about the famous players, I'm talking about the youth players, the ones who are coming through, the ones who are out on loan. I was told his knowledge of the squad is encyclopedic.